In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fade an image in GIMP. Let's get started. First, prepare the photo that you would like to fade by opening it on GIMP. If you want your photo to have a transparent background, click the File tab on the menu bar and click Open or press Ctrl-O on your keyboard. If you want your faded picture to have a solid background, click on the File tab on the menu bar and select New or simply press Ctrl-N on your keyboard. In the pop-up window, you can adjust the image size as well as the background color to your liking. In this tutorial, I will be using a white background. Once you have a background, click on the file tab on the menu bar and open the image that you want to fade and make sure that its layer is on top of the background. You can adjust the size of your image by hitting Shift T on your keyboard or by simply clicking on the Unified Transform tool on the toolbar. To resize, just click and drag on the squares at the side of the picture. To fade the photo, just click on the layer of the image and adjust its opacity using the opacity slider at the top of the layers panel. The lower the opacity is, the more faded the image would appear. And the higher the opacity is, the more opaque your image is going to appear. If you didn't put a canvas or a background layer, the background of the image would be a checkered pattern, indicating that the background is transparent. When saving an image with a transparent background, make sure that you export it as a PNG to maintain the transparency of the background. Another way that you can fade an image is by using layer masks, which acts like an invisible second layer that sits on top of the image layer. To do this, simply right-click on the layer of the image that you would like to fade and select Add Layer Mask. Then under the Initialize Layer Mask category, select the white Full Opacity option and click Add. You will know that you have added the layer mask if the thumbnail of the layer turns to this. Now, you can use GIMP's brushes to fade a selection off of your image. The paintbrush tool as well as the pencil tool is much stronger and sharper than the airbrush tool which gives a softer fade to the image. Lastly, you can fade your image using a feathered selections. You can do this by clicking on the rectangle selection tool at the toolbar and selecting the areas that you would like to delete and fade. If you only want to leave the corners of the photo, simply enable the feather edges settings under the rectangle select panel and make a rectangle selection inside the image layer. And when you delete the inside of the photo, the edges would be faded. However, if you want to delete the corners and fade the edges of the image, you can do so by making a rectangle selection on the inside of the image. Right click on the selection and select inverse. Now press the delete button on your keyboard and there you have it. Those are the different ways that you can fade a photo in GIMP. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.